everyone, Steph here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh my gosh, this video almost did not happen today. I am telling you guys, life is trying to get me, but I swear it has to catch me first. <laughs> anyway, so as you all know, today is User Stamps Monday, and for those who don't know or are new to my channel, User Stamps Monday is an ongoing monthly challenge that I've created to get us to use our stamps more. I have a friend and partner who is Kim. She's Kim Possible here on YouTube. And I'll have the link to her channel in the description box below as well as how to play along with us. Now before I forget, because I always forget to mention this, but since this challenge, um, a few of my friends have created their own challenge and I want to mention them so that if you haven't heard of it, you can go over and check them out. And uh, the first one is Poet Spice. She's Jamie. She has created uh, Delectable Dyes on Wednesdays um, that she is challenge challenging herself and whoever would like to to um, join her uh, using your dyes as well as with the dye challenge Betty who is Scrap Passion 01 here on YouTube she has created um, a Die Hard Wednesday here on YouTube and she has her two friends who is helping her as well with the challenge and that's um, Shante who is Shatana here on YouTube and Markeisha who is Sable M1 here on YouTube so guys if you go and check them out um, they have fabulous projects very inspiring and you know we need to use our supplies so enough said um, on with the show <laughs> so as you can see this is the main supplies that I've used um, in creating I have quite a few cards so I want to get through this quickly so the whatever pattern paper um designer paper you see on my project came from these stack that i got from my friend tere who is paper lover here on youtube thank you so much um these are a couple of years old um, but i still have quite a few so i want to try and use them up this year so i've used those and the majority of my stamps here that you're going to see are from my friend again tere so i've used this um solid hard hair this doily and this pretty one with the flower. I've used Key to My Heart. These are from Michael's. I've used this one here. And uh, this is saying thank you for your kindness, but I did not um, show that part. I just used this for a background. Um, I've also used this cute, cute stamp set. Um, again, from my friend Tere. And I've used the lips and the Cupid hair. And all of these um, and I'm thinking dollar back then or maybe dollar and fifty now at Michael's these are all from my friend Tere so I'm just going to go through them quickly and you will see them on the cards and I've used this one from Michael's I don't have the packaging but I'm pretty sure it's an Inka Dinka Do um, stamp set and I've used this image right here um, for the dies that I've used I've used the Spellbinders Heart Square and uh, my first die from Lawn Fawn. I love these collops. You have three different sizes and they're stitched so, so, so cute. I use the Dynamics MFT um, die hair. And this is Modern Morocco. So these are my supplies that I've used. And let me get on with the show. So the first set of cards that I made, um, I was asked um, to make these cards for a friend. Um, they wanted plain and simple cards, but um, which is hard for me. So um, I use white on white hair with the die cut. And this is um, that doily stamp hair. And I just stamp it in uh, one, two, three or four three or four different stamping up inks why i'm saying three or four is because i remember stamping off to get a lighter color and i think this is what i did here i tried it several times so i really can't remember but um yeah so i stamped them in a row and i just fussy cut them out and adhere them on top i have my satin ribbon here and um these these little hearts here came out of um the Spellbinders die and these are the little pop-outs that that fell out of the 
of the dye and I don't waste anything so that's free confetti there <laughs> I just use some wing Costello the clear wing Costello on it and I don't think that you'll be able to see that there and a three little bling there and inside now I don't have a stamp but these are the words that they wanted and um, it says to my wonderful wife with lots of love on Valentine's Day so I print that out on my computer and I have the Martha Stewart punch which I forgot to show you guys but you all know this um, on the layer of the red there because this one is the red and I have it again the exact same thing and maybe this is the one that I stamped off from the pink so I think this is the four inks and this is a three um, in the pinks and the exact same thing so I have red and pinks here and now um, I was playing along I was playing around with this stamp I had it for like two years and it's the first time I'm using it so I stamped it a few times and I was like oh my god what's wrong with the stamp you know it wasn't giving me a crisp image and then I realized I'm like da stuff you know I don't think that you could see but it the background the back piece there it's not really it's like distressed like that grainy look so <laughs> after realizing that you know I threw away a few stamp image Ugh. but anyway um well not threw away but you know I'm going to recycle them but so this is it I was just playing around um, making some small little cards and so I have the image there in black so I wanted a red white and black um, color scheme this is fun foam glitter fun foam hearts that I use as well binders die I forgot to show you but I've shown it in my previous videos and also this is a spell binders um, banner the Martha Stewart's color and the stamp image key to my heart there I layered it and inside the one of those um, dollar or dollar fifty stamp image a couple of them actually this is from one set and this is from the other so that's that and for the spellbinders die cards I just made um, shape cards using it so and uh, just so you can see and this is how it opens so you just you cut two separate pieces and you fold the top where you want the hinge and you glue just the top and it will open perfectly fine All right so um, designer paper and if you could see here is that tiny lawn fawn scallop stitch scallop absolutely love it and to, um, because it tend to wanna to me disappear in the other craft layer I just went with went in with this um signal white pen I love this pen you know right around the edges and satin both satin not there and here I have layered up my stamp image and what I did I use both stamps which is this these two stamps here this is smaller than this one and I use what I found um, a kissing technique where you dip this um, this solid stamp in your ink and you kiss it to the other stamp there and then I would stamp that on my paper and I cut it out so I have this one flat and I have this one popped up which I don't think you can see from the angle of my camera but it's pop up on dimensional and the inside I have smitten I love you so that's that one here's another one with just a different stamp image and I did some um, white stitches around the edge there with my pen and in here has that and the other one I did in the red cardstock and this one where's my stamps um, is the lip and what I did I used three stamping up ink you know like a ruby red a red and then a pink and this one I just stamped it here and then I stamped off again to give it a lighter shade so I did that I have that lawn fawn stitch scallop die there a piece of designer paper my ribbon another stamp image of the arrow there and inside I stamp again ruby red the red and then I kiss it I stamp it off there to give it a lighter shade and my step I have a crush on you and the last one is one of my fave which I did the cupid and I did the exact same thing the dark lighter and then light you know cupid there and the exact same technique um, now 
<laughs> As my friend Kim would say, I have a story about this card. After doing the card, everything was fine, and then I dropped a stamp on my card, on my finished card. And I had a boo-boo. <laughs> I had a boo-boo there, and I'm like, oh my God, like seriously, seriously? And <laughs> so I was thinking, okay, what can I do? So I put this, I put a heart there under each, to, you know, coordinating color, and I took my Copic markers to you know try and match the color and just did little you know um confetti dots there so that's what happened with the card but anyway it turned out okay i still like it you know even what my boo-boo and fixing my boo-boo <laughs> so the inside i have a love struck um because of course the cupid is here to hit us with that bow and arrow so anyway guys so yeah in my chaos and everything these are the cards that i came up with as always i'll have pictures at the end i would like to thank all my um my friends and my subbies for their continuous support you know those who upload their videos and um play along with us and for even those that comment we really do appreciate it so guys let me know what you think um i'm not sure if i'm going to do any more clean and simple cards i miss my my frills on my very dimensional cards so maybe that will be for next week but anyway guys thank you all so much and thank you all for listening to my jibber jabber and i will see you all soon if you haven't head on over to kim um, please check her out. I know my video is coming up late after hers um, But yeah, if you haven't checked her out, please go and check her out and check out the other ladies that I've mentioned earlier in the die hard Wednesdays and delectable dies challenge Take care guys. Bye